Welcome to Pointwise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. I've worked on several structured meshing projects recently and wanted to run through a few scripts on our GitHub page, uh, which can be located at github.com forward slash pointwise. And these scripts are designed to rapidly create structured grids on three often used topologies. So let's move to pointwise. And before I get started, there's two points I want to make, uh, just two quick points here. Uh, any script that you would like to add to the toolbar, you can do so by clicking on script, add script to toolbar, search for the script on your machine, and then type the name you would like the icon to have, pick an icon, hit OK, and those scripts that you would like to have can be added to the toolbar, which makes it very convenient for just clicking those scripts whenever it's relevant. Um, and then a second point, uh, <clears throat> these scripts that create these structured meshes will elliptically smooth the domains, which will allow the user to obtain the highest quality elements in those domains. Now, as you see on the screen, we have three topologies, a triangular topology, a circular typology, and a semicircle type topology. Um, we'll run through these scripts one at a time. So first we'll start with a triangle, select the connectors that make up the triangle. Here's my triangular uh, icon script select the script, run the script, and when it's finished you'll notice that the triangle has been separated into three structured quad domains. And again it has been elliptically smooth so you'll see these curved grid lines again obtaining the highest quality elements. Now the circular topology, that, run the script, and this has a GUI associated with the script. Um, the radial dimension essentially is the uh, H topology, uh, the number of uh, grid points along the H topology domains, and then the radial extent essentially is the percentage of the, the radius starting from the center point. Um, it decides how large the square topology in the in middle of your OH topology will be. So you hit cre create OH, and again you'll see the domains created there. Uh, the grid lines are curved again uh, just to obtain the highest quality elements. Moving on to the semicircle topology, select that, hit the icon, and now you've got a semicircle OH topology. And the links to the scripts will be located in the description for the video. And if you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line below or connect with us via Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.